Jazz Comping Part 1, we're going to explore some transcriptions that I've been using to help elevate my playing. Hope you enjoy it. Page two of my book is a transcription from a performance by Philly Joe Jones. concept that Philly Joe Jones is using here is creating tension and then releasing it. The way he creates tension is with the snare drum figures. Then on either beats two or four, he'll drop a bass drum bomb. This is something you want to utilize in your own playing. This is a combination of two transcriptions, one by Mike Clark, the other by Peter Erskine. Both drummers here like using the concept of sometimes placing the hi-hat on beat one, followed by a phrase. Here's a Jack DeJeanette transcription where he plays three over four. Here's something that Roy Haynes is known to do with his left foot on the hi-hat, followed by something we've learned in the first transcription from Philly Joe Jones. Once you have these transcriptions under your belt, you're able to apply all kinds of variations. This will help you to develop your own style. subscribe to the channel and follow me over at Instagram and Twitter at Joe Dorenzo.